Hey there guys, TMO73 here, bringing you the Jack Profile for the blue-white uh, golems list that I played earlier this week. Um, it's a pretty cut and dry build. Uh, golems I don't think have a ton of versatility right now in terms of what you can design them around. Um, but, you know, feel free to take this as a core and take it the direction you want to go and see if you can find something that works a little bit better. So obviously Pandora is our ruler. She's the only real ruler you can play for golems. Judgments for white, has energize, and her sealed item lets her mobilize one golem for free every turn. Flips over to being the big old 1020 Pandora. All your golems are permanently mobilized while she's on the field. Uh, and any damage your golems would take, she takes instead. And then for two white and two colorless, you can pump up all your golems plus four plus four. Which is surprisingly relevant, especially against boards that don't have board wipes. So you just like make a ton of golems really huge and then kill them. For the stone lineup, we play four light vapors. And then four of the Stone of the Dragonoid, just so because we have want to have uh, eight, uh, and actually we have two of the white blue countdown stones, so we have ten white blue sources. Um, we don't really care about the dragon power counters and life loss is just something we have to deal with. But all ten of our stones are white blue, so you don't have to worry about getting color screwed at all. Going into the resonators, we play. Four of Magic Light Warrior, just because he's our basic golem and he's our one drop play every single game pretty much. Uh, it's a good stat line for a one drop and can help us serve as a blocker early on too. Four Magic Sword Warrior, first strike is insanely relevant, especially when Pandora is flipped and you're dealing with bigger creatures um, because this guy won't take damage and the, so Pandora won't take damage, so you can kind of trade up, which is really nice. Uh, we play a Riula just to be able to heal um, Pandora just in case she dies for some reason. Uh, then we play three alternating current magician uh, crystals. Reason why we do this, this is another way to help mobilize our golems. And because he's another way to help us cheat in golems for two and drop and tap, you can put any golem from your hand into the field at instant speed, which is pretty nice with Atmos. We play three magic water warriors because flying is always nice and helps to finish off games. Two magic sound warriors because decks that run a lot of spells, um, if they try to cancel stuff, we get a lot of value out of it with magic sound warrior. And then three at most to kind of help us be our big beater, a major source of removal, and just say, if you can't remove this, you're going to lose the game. Going into the spells, three Charlotte's Water Transformation Magic because it works really well with us only being able to kind of block one thing a turn until we've got everyone mobilized. Um, so our 6-6 six, six can pretty much tra kill any creature in the game with the Charlottes. For uh, Dawn of the Earths to, again, make use of our one mobilized guy per turn, you know, being able to untap it and then attack again, instant speed as well as stopping flickering effects and all kinds of good stuff there. Two zeros magic light. Uh, if we're going against decks that run a lot of different creatures, we only can really get one moving a turn, so this helps us to get stuff out of the way. Three summon magic warriors to help us load up our field with other golems. Four Conjure Constructs, again, to load up our field with golems and to make Atmos much easier to play. Two Pandora's Orders to be able to kind of revitalize an Atmos at the end of their opponent's turn and then make use of it during our turn if for some reason it dies. And then lastly, two Crippling Light to serve as a one-sided board wipe. You know, the idea of having board wipe on one side while Pandora is flipped, um, just kill all your opponent's stuff and then swing in with all your mobilized golems to finish the game. So yeah, it's pretty straightforward, like I said. I'm not a huge fan of golems, but I still wanted to put together a, a basic shell for you guys to try out. I definitely think that they might have some potential in the future based on what support they get, but ultimately, it's up to you guys and up to Force of Will to print the cards that make that happen, So, and you guys to build the decks. So let me know what you guys think in the comment sections down below. Go ahead and like, comment, and share out the video, and subscribe to the channel, and support us on Patreon if you... Uh, enjoy what we do and want us to do more stuff like this in the future. Until next time, guys, this is DMO73, signing off.